I have my practice test document right in front of me, so I'm going to go through and do everything that's on here so that you would see exactly how you need to do it for your actual test. So I'm in my Google Drive, and I'm going to click New, and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. And I'm going to put my data for my practice test in there. I've got year, and I've got property tax. So for years, I have 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, and 2010. For property taxes, it starts with 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, and 1,500. So the first thing says type the data in a Google spreadsheet, so that's what I've done. Highlight the data along with the titles and create a scatter plot. So I'm going to highlight my data. I'm going to hit insert chart. I'm going to use the old chart editor like we've been doing in class. Chart types. And I'm going to scroll down until I find a scatter plot. This one is the scatter plot. So there's my scatter plot. It says, edit your chart using the old chart editor to include a title, a horizontal title, a vertical title, a linear trend line, and a linear equation. So I'm going to go into customization. I'm going to call my chart property taxes. So there's property taxes. That's my title. It says it wants a horizontal title, and along the horizontal, those would be my years. So I'm going to call that years. I'm going to go up here and change it to vertical. That's my property taxes, so I'm going to call that taxes. And then it says that it also wants a linear trend line, so I'm going to go down to trend line and say linear. And I'm going to say label it with use equation. So there's my equation, there's my trend line. And then what does it say to do next? It says move the scatter plot up next to your data. So I'm going to hit update. There's my scatter plot. I'm going to move it up next to my data. And so your instructor can see the chart and the data. Create a column in your document and calculate the mean, median, mode, range, and standard deviation of the property tax data. Be sure and include, be sure and label each calculation. So I'm going to go over here and say mean, median, mode, range and standard deviation. The word standard deviation is a little bit bigger so I'm going to slide it over and make this bigger. So I'm going to do mean which is equals average. I'm going to go over and highlight my property tax. Median equals median. Highlight my property tax. Mode, remember, is the one that you can't do in Google, so you have to look across and see which one occurs most often. This data is already in order. If it weren't in order, I would need to highlight it and go under data and put it in order, but it's already in order. None of them occur more than once. Remember, mode is the one that occurs most often, so I'm going to say no mode. Range is take the highest number minus the lowest number. So I'm going to go over here and say equals 1,500 minus 1,000, and I have 500 for my range. Standard deviation, I'm going to start typing equals standard deviation, and there it is. Highlight, enter. So there's my standard deviation. So it says, um, be sure and label each calculation. So I have that labeled. Highlight your year and property text data and insert a pie chart. So I'm going to go back over and highlight all that I have and say insert chart use the old chart data chart type and I'm going to slide down to a pie chart and so I've got that created it says include a title and make sure the year percentages show up in your chart so there are my years there are my percentages so it's already there I'm going to customize it and call it property taxes so there's my title. What else does it say to do? Um, move your chart so your instructor will be able to see the whole document. So I'm going to update and I'm going to move it down here. 
so that it shows up. I could put it over here if I wanted to, just as long as you can see the whole document, wherever it can be seen. Um, give your entire document a title. So I'm going to call mine Stacy Reagan Practice Test. So there's my title. What else does it say? Save the document as a PDF. So file, download as, PDF. There it is. I can see everything. It's important that you check to make sure you can see everything. So export. My computer opens it down here. So I'm going to open it and look at it. Make sure that it's like it needs to be. I'm going to download it on my desktop so that I can find it later. Okay. Next it says upload to the assignment link in Moodle. So let's see. Let's open Moodle. Slide it over here so you can see it. So here's Moodle. You will have a link that says yours for the final will say final exam link for your practice test or something like that. This one just says practice test upload link so that you can practice if you want to. So I'm going to click on it. Um, on my side it says view all submissions because I'm the instructor. So let's see. Let's do it as a student. So let me make it so that it is available that you can actually see it and edit it so that you guys can see it. So now it's something that's visible. And let's see, let's make sure that we can see everything. You guys can see all that. We can see that. Okay, so this is something you guys can see. And I'm going to change my role now to that of a student so that we can see it. So you will see the practice test upload link. We'll click on it. Add submission. Click on the plus sign to find it. Browse. And I need to find it. I did put it on my desktop. So I can click on my desktop and actually find it. Let's see. Where is it? Um, it is a PDF. It is so hard sometimes to find these things. So here it is. Upload this file. Give it a second to let it think. Hit save changes. And then there it is. And it's in there. And you can always check with me to make sure that I got yours. But that's what you'll be doing for your actual test. And I've given you this practice so that you can practice it and make sure that you know what you're doing before you actually have the test.